Okay, so this is pretty exciting. This is one of my favourite things in maths. It's called a binomial distribution. Uh, now, yesterday we talked about individual events. Yesterday or on Tuesday. So that was like the probability of getting uh, three heads out of four coin flips, etc. Today um, we're talking about cumulative events. So let's get straight into it, and I will um, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So firstly, state the distribution of x. So remember, we can use this kind of terminology. X is binomially distributed, okay? Because we've got two events. Either this C is going to germinate, so it's going to grow a plant, or it's not. It's going to fail. Um, so it's binomial. We're doing six trials, and the probability of a success of it germinating, let's define its germination as a success, is 0.85. That's the answer to part A. Uh, then part B, calculate the probability of exactly five seeds germinating. So this is pretty fresh, this is what we did the other day. This is where we've used the binomial distribution formula. We said we're doing six trials, and we want five successes. The probability of success is 0.85 to the power of the number of successes, and then times the probability of failure to the number of failures. And so we'll calculate that. So that's uh, uh, 5, 6, 0.3993. All right, so that's the first way we can do it. Okay, um, we can we can write this out, and that can take quite a while. All right, there's another way we can do it, and so follow these instructions here. Let's go to our main menu: statistics, distribution, binomial, and we're talking about an exact event. We're talking about the probability of x being equal to 5. And so that means we're going into BPD. Right, now you, both, you guys will be able to do this. It's just BCD for the condition. Uh, distribution binomial BPD. And we've got setting of data as variable, which should, should always be variable for us. Okay. X is our number of successes. 5, N is our number of trials, 6, and P is our probability of success, 0.85. We put that in and calculate it, and we're going to get the same probability, 0 0.39. Okay, so two ways of solving the same problem. This is a bit faster, isn't it? Okay. And now, you can even do it in your run mat, alright, so those same options in your main menu, um, and you'll press B, P, D, X, N, P. So that would be B, P, D, 5, 6.85. It's going to give you the same answer. So you can even do it in the run. Now I'll pause there, I'll answer any questions anyone might have. Everyone okay with that? Alice, good? Yep. Yeah. Eliza, okay? Yeah. Nice, you boys got that one there. Me, we might need to catch up. Yeah. Oh, I think so, yeah. Cool, awesome. So then let's move on to B, C, D, okay? So here we're calculating between two and four seeds germinating. So look up here, I've listed the possible events. You could have zero seeds germinate, you could have one seed germinate, two, you could have three, you could have four. So we're talking about two seeds, three seeds, or four seeds germinating. That's the event we're talking about. And so when we're doing a B, C, D calculation, what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the probability of 2 germinating and it's going to calculate the probability of 3 germinating and the probability of 4 germinating and add them all together. So it's a, it's a way to, um, to do a number of individual outcomes added together. So between 2 and 4, we're going to go into this BCD in our statistics now. And our lower boundary is going to be 2. So this is uh, yeah, BCD. Our lower boundary is 2, our upper boundary is 4, we're doing 6 trials, and the probability of success is 0.85. I've got another calculator too. Okay, so if 
one has an answer for me? 0.2231. Excellent, thank you. 0.2231. All right. Then we've got the probability of it being uh, less than three seeds. Okay, so still that's BCD. This time our lower boundary is zero because you could have zero seeds germinate. Our upper boundary is less than three. Less than three. So have a look at this, right? Up here, it help, it's helpful to list the possible outcomes because if we're talking about less than three, it means not three, but values less than three. And so our upper boundary is two. It's our next whole number. Uh, so we're going from zero to two. We're still doing six trials and we still have a probability of success point out one. Alright, so up here I've written the probability of x being less than 3. It's not equal to 3, it has to be less than 3. And so then the next whole number value, obviously it's going to germinate or it's not. It's taking a whole number value is 2. So in for a binomial distribution, these two statements mean the same thing. Uh, and the probability there? 5.88. 5. 0.5. 0.005. 8, 8. Thank you. Excellent. Uh, IV, more than three seeds. Okay, so same again. It's saying not three, but more than three. So the probability of X being more than three. So this time our lower boundary. Okay, and again, you can do this in run mat as well. All right, so I'll write it out and I'll write it in run mat. Is um, our lower boundary four, upper boundary six. Six trials, 0.85. So that's the probability of four being less than x being less than six. So what that means, that means we're 95% sure that four, five or six seeds will germinate. Right? So it's quite high that we'll have at least um, half of the seeds germinate. Okay, last part, exactly three seeds germinate. So that is not less than three, it's not more than three, it's talking about the exact event. So this is the probability of X equals three. So we're not talking about cumulative events, we're talking about a single event, so it's a BPD calculation. BPD, 3, 6, 0 0.5. 0 0.0414. Okay, so then what we've done in part three, we calculated the probability of it being two or less. In part four, we calculated the probability of it being four or more. And then in part five, we calculated the probability of it being exactly three. So what would happen if we added those three probabilities together? Get one. One, because it's all possible events. It has to be either less than three, more than three, or equal to three. It includes all possible events. Um, so that's what we're doing here. We, we, you need to distinguish, is it asking an exact outcome, so BPD, or is it asking for a cumulative outcome? And remember if it says less than, that means this. It doesn't include the value, okay? So you can list the possible outcomes and draw these kind of arrows around it to help you figure out what it's asking. So that's in our booklet, and we've got a number of questions there, 14 in fact. Cumulative binomial distribution. Cool. Cool, yeah.
So probably that's all we'll do today. Get you practicing some of them.